Welcome back to What Angers. Today we have some upgrades and some updates to talk about. <laughs> oh, Pop, you trying to run? All right, go. We have another beautiful day that they were calling for rain and we just got sunshine instead. I just checked in on the little ones and gave them fresh water. So they're just floating in a bowl. There is a ramp to get up into that bowl. The little black one just has to find it. Oh, Poppy. I guess he, <laughs> you ruined their spa day, bud. Come on. We're gonna head up to the barn now and talk about some of the upgrades I'm planning on doing over the next few weeks. The rhododendron looks beautiful right now. The irises are still blooming and the peonies have just started to open. I'm Broilers, how you doing? Still got water and feed? Yeah, and your grass isn't too bad either. You guys just all hanging out? You just enjoying the shade? Good. Now I have started planning some upgrades for the pig pen. I do want to get them outside. I know a lot of you have been commenting about getting the pigs outside. And if you've went back and watched a lot of my videos already, like I know a lot of you have, you know I want to get the pigs outside as well. Oh, it's okay, Moessa. I don't need to bother you. But today we got to start with an unplanned project. Hi, huh, puppy. How's Pants doing with all our babies out here? You keeping them nice and warm, Pants? We got a windy day today, Pants. You got to keep them all nice and warm. Tell them to go upstairs whenever it's time for bed. Good job, Rufio. The last two nights I did have to catch Pants and all the babies and put them upstairs and then shut the door on them. Then this morning when I came out, Pants was already awake and had some of her babies down here on the ground. On the inside, she can still hop over the top if she wants to and it seems like some of the babies did too. And then that door here just swivels. I had to open it up and let the last two babies out. Huh, Pants, you left some of them behind. There is some nice colors coming in on these chicks, so I'm hoping we get some females. Huh, Pop? Yeah, the yuccas behind you are going to bloom too. There's something else behind you we have to talk about. Huh, Pam? Yeah, Pam, huh? You bad turkey. I don't know why female turkey are all so bad. You look like Piper and you're bad like Piper. No, you're staying in there. No, you're not going back to Jim. You hurt Jim. I had to move Pam down here into the big wagon where I had the twin boys. They're probably going to have to sleep in the barn tonight. I was working today and whenever I got home I came up to check on all the animals and whenever I walked in to check on Jim, Pam and their duck, I saw that Pam started picking on Jim. She had all the evidence on her so I know that's what happened. And I'm really happy that I got the two little ducklings out of there before anything happened as well. So this is really upsetting. I know a lot of you have also been loving Jim and Pam and I really had long term plans for them as well. But with Pam showing these signs of aggression and with Jim being even more injured now, I feel we're going to have to say goodbye to Jim and Pam. I know this is a really sad ending to the saga of Jim and Pam and none of us wanted this, but trying to look for some positivity, the silver lining here is that they did hatch out some ducklings. The male duck that they hatched out first, Duke Silver's firstborn, is going to be going to my friend's house. He has a bunch of female ducks and no male ducks. He's going to be able to free range outside in a spring fed pond with a guard goose as well. And sadly this weekend, Jim and Pam are going to retire to freezer camp. I really try and keep things positive here on the channel, but we have some more bad news before we continue. Echo Pup got distracted. His cousins are here, so he might go play with them. No, Remy, you stay there. You stay there, Remy. <laughs> I don't need any help, Remy. Back it up, chickens, back it up. Coming in. Coming in, ladies. You gotta stay out, Remy. So whenever I got home today to check on the chickens after work, I noticed there were some extra feathers here next to the pig pen gate. Oh, my water. Well, it's only fitting something else goes wrong today. It is true whenever they say, when it rains, it pours. But what I noticed when I got home and the reason I brought up these steaks is that there is too many feathers in the pig pen. Huh, a cookie, s'more, doughboy. You did something bad today. And they even look like you. Sorry, pup, I was just trying to keep Remy out. You can come in. Good boy. But unfortunately, what I realized when I got home is that my two silver spangled Hamburg chickens that we call salt and pepper went into the pig pen. And they did not come back out. So today I want to try and block off these open areas of the pig pen so the chickens can't get in as easy. But I also don't want to limit my access going in there. I have an idea. We'll see if it works.
All right, I think you can see what I'm doing here. I took two fiberglass tomato stakes and zip tied them to the gate. This is raising the height of the gate. Now I can take some bird netting and string it between these two stakes, and that'll hopefully keep the birds from jumping on top of the gate and falling in. But since these stakes are attached, they're gonna move with the gate, so it's not gonna interfere with me going in and out. And for these other two gaps, I'll either put chicken wire or hardware cloth up. So I gotta find some bird netting or chicken wire to put up here. Somehow some of the chickens got out. We have three snowballs out there and an Andalusian. Here, ladies. You guys can have treats inside since you didn't jump the gate. Yeah. Now you guys are confused. Huh, Pop? You got to come in for treats. Come on, ladies. Come on, Bobtail. Go ahead in there. Come on, Snowballs. Lucy, is that you? Come on, turn it around. Only the ducks are free ranging. Come on. Come on. Run on in, chickens. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not that way. Next turn. Come on. You got it. Nope, that wasn't it. You're not going to be able to get in that way. Whoa, boys. You calm down. You calm down. Turn around, Lucy. Come on. Get back inside. There you go. All the way in this time. Good chicken. Good chicken. So it was not my plan today to do this project, but obviously this one took priority. I do want to start work on this pen out here. This is going to be the outdoor pen for the pigs. The pig pen is right behind this wall, and I want to cut a hole through this wall so they'll be able to come right outside into this pen and go back inside at their leisure. But right now, this pen is not strong enough for these three pigs. So not only do I need to add some posts in here, I also need to add a bunch of other wood so I can have some rails for the pigs to actually push on. This little fence here won't stop them. So I bought some rough cut hemlock, and we're going to make a pig pen out here. It's going to be a big project, and it's definitely going to take more than one video. Come here, pup. Let's check on Jim. Beep, beep. Coming through, chickens. Girl, put your sundress down. Watch it, boys. Let's go check in with everybody in the back barnyard. Goats! What are you doing, goats? You get your area mowed down yet? I hear you, girl. You got a lot of grass in there still. No, I don't have any treats. I should have brought you something. Yeah. I've been empty the last couple times. Stripe isn't too much on the pettins yet, but Stargirl is really liking them. Now, oh, buddy, you just want to eat out of my hand, but I didn't bring you anything today. I'll get you on the next round. Any ducks laying eggs in here? Everybody's done? Good. Mumble's looking good. They've been pumping out the eggs. Huh, oh, pop? I still have three more sundresses to get on the girls. Just want to get them some treats here. Black soldier fly, thank you guys for sending this in. And I think Bert and the ladies are appreciating it too. Here you go. There you go, Bert. And there is an update here with Bert and the snowballs. If you notice, there's only five of the girls out here. Are you broody girl? I think this girl is still broody. She's been sitting in here, I think, for three days now. The other girls have to lay eggs over here. You might be broody, and that's pretty cool. I've been waiting a really long time. This isn't the best timing, but I'll take it. I have been trying to find a home for Dizzy's kids. They're two massive boys. I'm not gonna send them off for anybody that wants them for meat. If I don't find a home for them before it's time for my meat broilers to go in, they'll just go in with them. That is the purpose for the males that hatch out here on the homestead. The ladies can only handle so many breeding males. And I'm not neutering a chicken. Hey Jim, I have the door open, but you guys didn't want to come outside? I know, buddy. Your girlfriend betrayed you and beat you up. Jim's head is pretty raw. It's not as bad as Mumbles was and she didn't really get into his eyes. But I know he's in pain now. Even if it's not just physical pain, he's all upset that Pam betrayed him. I'm happy she didn't go after the Drake here because I did just find him a good home. He can go hang out with a bunch of ladies in a spring-fed pond in free range. And I'm really happy I got the ducklings out in time. Once I found Jim like this, I had to pull Pam out so she couldn't do any more damage. And then I came back up here and took care of Jim, got him cleaned up. Hey Jim, we're gonna get you cleaned up, buddy. I don't know why Pam betrayed you. It's okay, bud. I took the mean turkey away and we're gonna help you out, okay? Yeah, you still got your eyes. Yeah, your eyes are in good working order, bud. No, put that wing down. Put that wing down, bud. I know. I know. Last time someone holding you wasn't good. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, bud. Hold on. Hold on. Accept it. Accept it. And relax. Good, buddy. 
Go ahead, buddy. Settle into it. Okay, Bob. Okay, bud. We got a surf guy. It's okay, duckling. We have a home for you to go to, bud. Yeah, you're gonna get all the ladies. Yeah, buddy. We got a home for you, too. Okay, Jim. Get you cleaned up. I have the door open now so they can get some fresh air and come outside if they want to. But I have had to make the hard decision. Jim and Pam are going to have an early retirement. So this weekend we're going to be sending off Duke Silver's firstborn to his new home. And we're going to be sending off Jim and Pam to freezer camp. I appreciate everything you've done here, Jim. In homesteading, you can have some really uplifting positive days. But with the good also comes the bad. And today was a bad day. So I want to get the pig pen buttoned up today so this doesn't happen again. And then tomorrow we can start fresh and try and get back to positive progress. Collecting all the duck eggs up and Mumbles laid another one. Look at that beautiful thing. She is just crushing it. Massive eggs. Oh pop. Yeah. All right, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm putting up this chicken wire across the two stakes. I zip tied it on. I need to go get more zip ties for the other side. But this is going to allow me to use the gate. Hey. Beep, beep, cookie. This is gonna allow me to use the gate here and still have it blocked off because I didn't want anything hanging down here or me having to duck underneath. So having it attached, no oh, echo. We're not playing with the pigs right now, bud. So having it attached to the gate's gonna be a lot better. But I need to go down to the house and get more zip ties. Out here is gonna be a big project. A loss happened today and I'm really trying to just calm down, but I'm trying to get this done so this doesn't happen again tomorrow. Whoa, Gina, Gina, stay in there. Chicken spot, Bonnie. Everybody stay in there. You have the whole summer run to play in. Go explore. What are you doing, Snowball? You're not supposed to be out here, girl. How's all these fluff balls doing, Pants? You're the big fluff ball and you got a bunch of little ones. All these little fluff balls in here. It's awesome to see you raising them up. You gonna take them up the ladder tonight on your own? You gonna take them up to the top floor? That'd be nice. I don't wanna have to catch all these little ones. Guess we'll see you tonight. Up, up. All right, guys, while editing the video, I realized I never closed it out. I was pretty low energy that night, and I just never finished the video. I did have to catch pants and each of her babies and put them up into the top compartment for the night. And by morning, she had most of them out onto the ground already. It's been a few days, and there hasn't been any more problems with the chickens and the pigs. Come here, pup. Hop up. Hop up. Come on. All right, deep. Good. But homesteading can be a roller coaster of emotions, and you're coming along with me. So you're following me through the valleys and the peaks. If you want to keep following along with everything here at Wood Acres, make sure to subscribe down below, hit that like button before you leave, and you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. Good boy.